all right, we got Nicholas Goliath versus David Levinson. <laughs> Start. All right, when I said I was roasting one of the Goliaths, people said to me, is it, is, it, uh, is it the fat one? I said, no, no, that's Jason. And they said, is it the funny one? I said, no, that's Donovan. <laughs> and they said, uh, so who's it? I said, it's Nicholas Goliath. And they said, who? And I said, yeah. <laughs> what people don't know is that Dave was contacted because they wanted to make a bobblehead out of him. But apparently the technology to make such a big head move on such a small body is just too expensive. It's not worth it. <laughs> See, the thing is, there's a comedy club called the Goliath Comedy Club. I'm not going to advertise another club because this is a good club, Joe. <laughs> but I mean, everyone at the Goliath cons Consortium has jobs according to their abilities. So obviously Jason does the headline acts and does the hosting. Donovan does the, the one-man shows. Um, uh, Tracy. <laughs> Tourette. <laughs> Kate, Kate, she does some of the stuff. And, and Nick's got quite a big job there as well. He does that, you know the red light when the comedians have been on for five minutes? He does that. <laughs> I'm sorry that it pisses you off that the unknown Goliath is more famous than you, but anyway. Um... <laughs> what I actually wanted to say is, I see you've got some branding up here, very nice. Um, if you took notes on comedy as well as you did on branding, you might be somebody. <laughs> You know, this was, this, was, this was meant to be this massive battle between David and Goliath, okay? It was gonna, that's the whole vibe. That's, that's the only reason that would have got us together. It wouldn't be like weird if it was like, Goliath versus Jeff. <laughs> and I'm not, although I have a Jewish surname, I don't know much, but, but I know that David slayed Goliath with the jaw of an ass or something like that. <laughs> And Nick's gonna laugh at that now because most of his jokes are from the new, from the Old Testament. I think. <laughs> 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 so, so, Dave, was that your joke? No, no, no. I'm... <laughs> Just help us out here. Tell us what I, it's a joke. I believe. I believe I can fly. <laughs> I wrote my stuff for the fat one. Give me this. <laughs> okay, just pretend that all three Goliaths we are, this is how it works. They are now going way, they've got an events company. They've got a, a, a the Uber, you can get an Uber. For you. Nicholas will give you a lift home. <laughs> they've got an insurance company. The Goliaths have got an insurance company and they're getting big trouble from the hippo. <laughs> Not the insurance company, I'm talking about Jason. You're roasting the wrong guy. <laughs> they all look the same. So Dave, since you want to talk about insurance, for those of you that are here that don't know, Dr Dave drives a mint condition VW Beetle. He was so excited that he finally found a car with a bonnet that looks just like his face. Because he looks like a vagina. <laughs> they had to tell, you had to tell them. They, these guys haven't seen vaginas in years. <laughs> so, all right, Nicholas wakes up in the morning, he looks in the mirror and he says, I'm successful, people like me, and I'm funny. And then the mirror says, two out of three isn't bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave, to do this to you. But guys, I don't know if you know, Dave Levinson was the host on the very first season of Going Nowhere Slowly. No, 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 no. He quit, he quit after the first season because he thought it was a reality show about his career. 